A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? The funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate. And I'm sure it will come back to you. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate. I'm sure it will come back to you. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. I thought you wanted to remember, Chance Sherry. Never came. Concentrate. I, I feel I'm sure I it rather come back to you. faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon. Rest in peace, Mrs. Holmes. Rest in peace, Mrs. Holmes. A pocket one? Seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, Mother. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. 
The size of the prints suggest he is approximately five and a half feet tall. You were about to tell me to make and model of tyre, but let me assure you, I do not care. Hmm. Ah, well, it was going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. A portable easel was kept there. The hospital are crypt. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. It's stained with oil paint. An artist working in a cemetery? Do you think he'd paint my portrait? So now we're searching for the artist. He must be nearby. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. Do you know anything about this? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Help me, please. A man like you should not speak to a man like me. Everyone's looking at us, Sheriff. You sure you know what you're doing? Do you know anything about this? A man like you should not speak to a man like me. Excuse me, just one question. Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. Oh, it's that red. Be nice, Sherry. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. Does your gallery feature more than just portraiture? Oh, of course! We display landscapes, sculpture, modern pieces too. I am sure we have something that will move you. You must stop by. Only music moves me, I'm afraid. Then you have simply not found your artist yet. Someone whose work hits you in your core. You're still young. I'm sure we'll find them. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. 
It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I'd forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure, answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption, drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no, you'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. He's odd, Sherry. Even odder than I. He's odd, Sherry. Even odder than I. He's odd, Sherry. Even odder than I. Is this familiar to you? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Are you able to help me? There is no amount of money that would make me talk. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. Can I ask you a question? There is no amount of money that would make me talk. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Can I ask you a question? His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. Are you able to help me? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Excuse me, just one question. Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. Can you satisfy my curiosity? His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. Oh. 
Excuse me, just one question. Can't say I know. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? news on the island. Thank you. Nothing new for you. Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes? What is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. But why the archives? Won't that stall everyone's work? You bet it will. He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck.
all the newspapers are sold out. All the newspapers are sold out. Excuse me, just one question. Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Can you satisfy my curiosity? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Signor Holmes. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop, at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? What can I do for you, Sherlock? What can I do for you, Sherlock? Oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Oh, come on, at least do him first.
What can I do for you, Sherlock? What can I do for you, Sherlock? Oh no, it's all wrong. You look nothing like him. What is wrong exactly? Why everything. He had glasses and bruises and... Were you listening to me at all? What can I do for you, Sherlock? Those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. All right, I've got it. He did wear glasses, but not like those. His were angular and evil-looking. All right, I'll try another pair. <sighs> ah! It's you! I mean, it's him! It's him! Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mum, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the Outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. Thank you, Signore.
Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you've really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr Holmes. Mm.